Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. If you're returning, welcome back. Today's going to be a quick video. We just went and bought a new dryer, well a used dryer, but it's new to us. We haven't had one since we moved to Missouri and the plug is different. So this is a four prong and what we need is a three prong. So I thought I'd bring you along. Some people may not know how to change these out. It's a really simple process. Just take a few minutes. If you get value out of this, I ask that you would uh, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, uh, consider subscribing. It doesn't cost anything and it helps our channel to grow. So I'm gonna zoom in and show you uh, how we change this out. Okay, so as you can see, there's a plate on here that we gotta take off first. So we'll take this spec plate off. Do one little screw, don't lose that. And then we have to pull this, um, it's like a Romex connector, but it's a little bit bigger. I don't know if it's still called that or not, but I'm just gonna loosen this up just a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely loose yet. So you've got three wires here and then you've got a ground. And if you look at these, uh, they're made to go like this. Anyway, so let's take and unhook these. Gonna leave that one hanging for now. We'll just set that screw there. And hold on to those pigtails because if you ever move or whatever, these things are like 20 bucks or so for a new one. So if you ever move or you ever sell a dryer and get a new one, keep the one you got that way you've got a, a replacement as I said they're like 20 bucks a piece so what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed this right back through here so what we're gonna do I'll go ahead and put the ground lug back on and it'd help if I use the right screw so I'll put the ground lug back on And then all we do is just in reverse and stick it right in there. Screw it down. You want to make sure your connections are really tight. A loose connection can cause a fire. They tell me at the safety meetings at work, fire is bad. Fire is bad, explosions are bad, dying is bad. They tell us that every day, don't do any of that. So, there you have it. And there you have it, it really is that easy. It took me all of two or three minutes. Change the door pull to the other side. A lot of people aren't aware that you could do that too so let me show you how that goes all right so first thing you gotta do is take your door off there's this one has five screws some of them have more some of them have less oops don't lose them screws out. These are safety screws, these Torx. So let's go ahead and just take the regular screws out and see if that opens it up to where we can swap this around. Yeah. 
All right, so that got this apart. Let's see if I can get this off. And then you just, there's two little nibs. Oh, there's more screws here inside. The guy we got this from said that it was a little wonky on closing. And I would say that, that this is probably not, uh, wasn't adjusted because all these things adjust. So, all right, so let's go over here. And hopefully this will go easier than the last time we did this, because the last time we did this, I done it like three times and put the door on backwards. This one I don't think I can put on upside down or backwards. All right, so now this goes back together like this. Okay, how does this come off? Oh, oh this yeah. Is screwed on. Oh, yeah. We've got to take that off and move it to the other side. I was just checking to make sure before I got all involved in it. all made together so we may that should let's see here before I get too involved in this it's not over here, no, so right. gonna... all right so we're gonna have to take thinking thing apart. After all the help I got, we put it on backwards, but we're back on track. When I say we, I mean my help done it backwards. <laughs> get these small ones in here first and maybe that'll pull them into into alignment and we're back for round three of the simple change of a door swing moral of the story is More of the story is too many cooks spoil the pot. All right, so now we just gotta take this tape off of here. And we will take our door. We'll load a screw in the center here of the hinge. I would have grabbed my drill for this, but why do things the easy way, right? Alright, so let's see if she closes. Voila. Plug it in, see what she does. Plays tiddlywinks. 
Uh, he said you had to hit the start button and hold it. I'll start again. All right, well, it, it's. Oh my gosh, there's a light. Inside the dryer? Inside, how cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead and turn it off and let's get the vent put on. <laughs> Would have made it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Would have got away with it too. Oh, shoot. We don't have a clamp. These are hose or zip ties. Oh, well. All right, never mind. Forget that shooting stuff. I pro oh. Oh. I probably will need a pair of pliers of some sorts. 